when the Park East plan was developed, there was no thought about parking, parking structures. That was a mistake. Should have been some public parking structures in the plan. Parking's about to be solved gradually. You've got MSOE right now who's going to provide parking for their students and for the people in the area. That starts to help. Number two, I hope that the city or the county does not replot it and start selling it in smaller increments. There aren't that, if you really think about it, there's big, nice pieces of land left. Don't cut it up because then you'll fractionalize it and you'll get all sorts of different types of development. Great potential. There's no question about it. Uh, this, is a, this is one of those places where I think we have to be unusually aggressive, and the county and the city will work that out, I'm, I'm confident, uh, in, in terms of being able to move faster and to take advantage. There are clearly huge opportunities that are available in the marketplace right now, as Gary put it, for the size um, of, of the space that is available in the Park East, we have to do everything possible to take advantage of them within this very narrow window. Uh, when we talk about 3.9% uh, of uh, the total capa tip capacity that we've used, that's $1 billion. If you go to 12%, the total TIF capacity is $3.35 billion. That means the city of Milwaukee has TIF capacity available of $2.26 billion. Leveraged, that provides a great deal of potential development. One of the mistakes I've made in my career sometimes is I didn't spend enough on my developments. I think we need, if we're going to have a real discussion about economic development, we have to think about in terms of how much money we actually have, not that we want to spend and go up to 12%, but I think we have to have a real discussion on how much we want to spend and how, I, and I want to make the distinction between spending and investing, how much money we want to invest in our city, in our infrastructure, and in deals that we have in the city of Milwaukee. Nice to say, let's give everybody a TIF, but somebody in the city has to pay property taxes that go to support city and county government. We can't take all of those tax dollars. I, believe me, I love TIFs, but the, you know, the thought of going to 12% of your, of your value in TIFs I don't think works. What we need to do, and I ask you to watch the MMAC and their efforts in Madison, our tax structure is upside down in this state. We, we tax people and businesses higher than they should be. Personal income, property tax, and business taxes. Our sales tax is too low, our fees are way too low. Our government's too big, that's getting small, cut down smaller. But until you change the tax structure and get the property taxes back down to where they should be, we're always gonna be fighting that battle of bringing people and, and companies into Milwaukee. Mike